Hello everybody, and welcome to Beast on the Milky Way. Today, I am doing something a little different. I'm doing a redstone tutorial, because I know a little bit about redstone, and I just want to share a little bit of my knowledge, so I'll stop talking and let the button do the talking here, so. Hello everyone, and welcome to my redstone tutorial. Today, I will be showing you all how to make a multi-purpose button such as the one here, or whatever else you would call it. So here's the redstone work behind this contraption here. It's pretty simple. I'll be showing you how to make that now. So let's get started. So of course, you'll be needing a button and some redstone, redstone torches, redstone repeater, and oh, Whatever else you want, I'm going to use command blocks here. Give beast 456 137. There we go. And, of course, your building block, which I'll use sandstone in this case. So, time set to zero. Alright, let's get started. So, how you'll want to start is you'll want to have your button like so on some sort of base or whatever so we'll have the redstone dust coming off the back here and so this here will be our first task done because with each click of the button it moves on to the next task you have for it in my case it happens to be command blocks so whenever I were to push, push the button once it would go to that command block and whenever I would push it again it would go to this command block. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you. So, to get this started, you'll want to have this come off to the side. And you'll want a repeater going this way because the, um, I think it's called a T flip flop that I'm showing you. The design, it keeps the redstone current going here. And if that happens, then the button is pretty much useless. So we need a redstone repeater here. Doesn't matter the ticks, preferably around that, I guess. So, and then here's the T flip flop. It's redstone torch there, redstone torch there, redstone dust like that, and same with this. Now you want to make sure that this redstone dust is on this block and it's glowing to turn this torch off otherwise this would be useless because we need the power to come up here and turn this torch off so it toggles so this is pretty much how it works the button flicks and then it locks that redstone signal no matter how much you press the button anymore because it's already got the redstone signal so that's pretty much how it works to deactivate it just destroy that so moving on so this is where you could have your first task so I'll put a redstone torch here and put the task, I guess the command block here. I'll just have it say task. Oh, that's tack. Task number one complete. There we go. <clears throat> now, here's where we get to the actual toggling between tasks for the switch. So, what you want to automatically have this switch is this other line here you'll want to have it come up onto a block with a redstone torch so that way it's negated because we need it to be negated in order for this to work now I'll go back to that in a minute so let's go back to over here where we have this redstone line here so we need to bring this over to so that way it doesn't interfere with this line and bring it up and over until we come to right this area right here or we're going to place repeaters because this is where this is where the um, current will continue on to the next task so these have to be locking repeaters here so we have our first one there locks that and then that one will lock that one so this is for a delayed timing with the button there which you'll see in a minute so, and then with this redstone line, now, I know that there is ways to compact this more, like, 
I don't need to extend this redstone out so much, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to keep it nice and wide open so it's easier to understand. So anyway, this redstone line we can bring out to another block, put a repeater on it. Now you'll want to set this repeater to four ticks for the uh, delay. And then we'll have that there, and this line will come down here, and this line will go into this one, and you want another repeater here set to four ticks. So that is the toggle part of it. So that's pretty much that part. So this will be where your next task will come off from. So then you want to continue the redstone trail there. And uh, just by the way, leave in the comments if I'm going too fast for you guys. If you for any future redstone tutorials, if you want me like slow down a little bit. Or if you want me to go back through this and explain why things happen a little more. And uh, I'll also do other redstone tutorials in the future if you want me to. This is uh, my design, by the way. I don't know if anybody else has made this design. I haven't seen anybody who has, but uh, in case they have, I'm not trying to copy you. It's just uh, what I came up with. So anyway, then we can have this come off to the next, which I'll use the T-flip-plop again, because... Anyway, I use T flip plop again here. I think it's called that. I I really hope it is. I don't know the exact name of things, but no, nope, can't have that. It has to be like that. Turn off that one. And there we go. And then you can have your next command here. So then we can have say task number. Nope, that's three. Number two complete okay so now this can go on to a third task the same exact design over there where we have another sandstone block and then you can bring this out again to where the um, next repeater would be so that would be like here ish <laughs> now for this, because we need to connect it back to the button, all we have to do here is just lead this line off so we can simply just dig under like that. Like so. Oop. Here we go. And then bring it back up like so. And then we need to bring this into the next repeater here and the next one here now this line's not far enough so I need to put repeater down here to make sure that it is far enough uh... hold on that needs to make sure you put this one down first forgot that because it needs to lock this first so and then we can continue on with the third task which would be, oh, I have that actually backwards, that needs to go that way. So then we need to continue this off again. Redstone repeater, four ticks, sandstone, redstone torch, and then bring this down here. Repeater, four ticks, and there we go. And then we can continue this. You can keep this going for like ever, but this is just an example of how you could use this. Uh, you don't need it just for like command blocks. You could use it for traps or I guess really anything. Like sort of, you could have people go through like a trial of having to fight monsters or whatever, where they have to press the button over and over again and it summons more monsters. I don't know. You guys could have fun with it, but uh, anyway, so we could have this lead on to the next task. Same T flip flop thing. Redstone torch, redstone torch. I'm only going to do three tasks here. And then you guys can do whatever. There we go. And then this will lead on to the, say, task. Th task number three complete. And there we go. Now let's test this puppy out and see if it's working. So we press the button once. Task one completes. 
Okay, that works. Press it again. Task 2 complete. That works. Press it a third time. Task 3 complete. And there you go. That is your toggle that or multi-purpose button there for you. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. I would like a new member to join me here on the Milky Way. I'm getting a little lonely. Not many people here. So, uh, if you like what you see, maybe uh, drop a comment as to what you guys want me to build next for Redstone or anything like that. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. I actually did forget to mention one thing to you guys. It's very important. Hold on, let me set the time to zero again. One thing that's important is um, deactivating this because, you know, you run through the test and s say you had it for some sort of adventure map or something, and it doesn't reactivate itself. Like, I can click this button as much as I want, nothing will happen anymore. So, to deactivate it, all you have to do is you have to go to each one of these T flip flops, you have to break one of the glowing glows or redstone, and then replace it. And then that'll fix that part. Then you need to go to this repeater here. Not these two that are locking. Just this one that's locked. You need to break it and replace it. Because that locks the redstone current. So it won't allow it to go through. So same thing here. Teep flip flop. Break the redstone dust. Place it again. Same thing here with this one. Make sure it's the one that's continuing. It's the one that has to continue the flow to the next task. So... Again, redstone repeater, replace, and red the flip flop again, and there you go. Should work again. Task one, task two, task three. There you go. And that is uh, now the finished video, so thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.